Other news now. And a BBC Wales investigation has found children in care, children as young as 11, have been housed in Airbnbs and other temporary accommodation as councils face serious challenges with suitable placements. Local authorities insist it's a last resort and support workers are in place around the clock for those under the age of 16. But children's charities say many young people still feel they're not getting the support they need. Wira Davis reports. Shifted from place to place, Niall spent his adolescent years moving in and out of the care system. At 17, his local council placed him in temporary accommodation. People moved there out, they just come out of prison and stuff. So I got robbed a couple of times in there. And um, someone climbed through my window, robbed all my clothes, food, money. Caffilly Council said Niall's case wasn't straightforward, but insists it offered him support. It said it had improved its systems, and last year it didn't place any children in B&Bs. But that's not the case everywhere. We've discovered that here in Wales, even now, teenagers are being placed in bed and breakfasts, hostels and other temporary accommodation. Most of them are 16 or 17 years old, but some are even younger. In one example, an 11-year-old was placed in an Airbnb with a council official because there was nowhere else for them to go. Six years ago, the actor Michael Sheen presented a petition to the Welsh Government calling on them to stop councils placing children in B&B accommodation. Despite assurances it would end the practice, young people have told him they're still at risk. We should not tolerate that children just disappear and the worst things imaginable are happening to them. And, and it seems like, as a society, we just go, yeah, well... That's awful, and we can all get upset about it, but we're not going to actually do anything about it to change it. With record numbers of children in care, charities warn fundamental changes are needed to the system. The Welsh Government says it's investing more in foster care and specialist accommodation, while in England, the Government has banned under-16s from staying in unregulated places and plans to inspect all children's accommodation. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to Michael Sheen and asked him how he felt about what he'd seen and heard whilst working on the programme. I've been shocked, really, and, um, and both, on the one hand, kind of, it's been sort of devastating at times to hear, you know, what, what people have gone through what, uh, as, as children, as, as young people. Um, it's, it's been really rough, you know, to, to hear that. Um, but on the other hand, there are positives that have come out of doing the, the programme already and, and, and there are more positive plans afoot as well. So hopefully things will change and hopefully doing this programme will, will, you know, put a, put a pressure, bit of pressure to make sure that those things do happen and, and, and more, hopefully. Now, you say shocked and devastated, but were you surprised? Because, you know, there's a lot of pressure on the care system at the moment. There's COVID and what have you. And I'm just wondering, you know, was it a surprise to you to see this? Yes and no, I suppose, really, Gary. It's very, it's very easy to kind of deny the reality of it in a lot of ways. I think for for us, and I'm talking about myself as well, you know, for for us generally as a society, to to sort of close our minds to to a lot of young people who are going through this care system, because a lot of it you you don't want to think is the reality for them. You know, we're talking about you know children are vulnerable, full stop. But these children are children who, for whatever reason, are unable to be looked after, loved, protected by their own parents, by their own family, uh, and are put in the hands of the state. And um, so essentially, it's our collective responsibility as a society to, to make sure that these children are OK. And they go through, some of them, unfortunately, you know, go through some of the worst experiences imaginable. You know, they're, they're at risk by the very system that is supposed to be looking after them at times. And I, six years ago, I handed in a petition to the Welsh Government to try and stop young people being put uh, in, in, in vulnerable positions, in, in unregulated, uninspected B&Bs, hostels, budget hotels, you know, and, and I was told then that the Welsh government were going to eliminate it and it's still happening now six years later so you know that's shocking and surprising yeah but the Welsh government says it's at the top of the agenda for them um, and I did sort of hear a hint of hopefulness in your first answer um, looking ahead how would you feel? It, it has to be a system that allows young people who are within it to feel like they matter. They're not forgotten about. They are cared for. They are loved. And they do have potential and possibility. And, and so if the Welsh Government does um, uh, follow through on their plans 
with um, giving more support to care leavers. Um, the, the basic income pilot that they're introducing is a, is a fantastic step, I think, uh, and will certainly help those at 18 plus who, who too often in the past sort of feel like they're falling off a cliff edge coming out of care with no support. So that will definitely help. But we have to make sure that those who are 16, 17, being still put in places where they're vulnerable and at risk, that needs to stop. Um, and there does need to be more support earlier on as well for f to make sure that there are fewer people going into care in the first place. So support for families and children at earlier stages. Michael Sheen there. And if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in this story, details of organisations that can provide information and support is available on the BBC Action Line website. And you can see more on this story in Michael Sheen lifting the lid on the care system tonight on BBC One Wales at nine o'clock or on BBC iPlayer.